stop chasing your specific person do this and watch what happens yes my friend it is possible that by stopping to chase your specific person and instead of doing that focus on the gratitude and fulfillment you already experience in your life to put them in a position in which they come back to you and start chasing you now this can be a little paradoxical and hard to understand but if you stay with me until the end of the video i'll show you exactly what i mean i'll give you an example from my life and i will show you how you can practically practice that so that being the case let's directly begin and get into the topic first of all it's like it's it's really easy for us to get into the trap that we think and feel that there is something specific that we can do on the outside world like we can go to, to our specific person tell them how much um how much we love them um like show us show them how special they are to us like try to take their attention and uh, like focus it focus it on them like we always think that there is something we can do on the outside world but honestly my friend and this is like again what neville goddard teaches feeling is the secret so if you want to go and do something from the feeling do something in the outer world from the feeling of what so from the feeling of insecurity from the feeling of neediness and you go out to your specific person and try to in a way um make them conform to your own will then this will work against your desire because if it's coming from the energy of what of what if it's coming from neediness, if it's coming from insecurity, from lack of confidence in your um, like intrinsic, intrinsic um, deservability and worthiness of love, then it will have the exact opposite effect. So it's really crucial to understand that you cannot force your specific person to do something with you in your life. So like it's totally useless. It's totally meaningless to go on and chase them. And anytime you do that, you are actually sabotaging your own wish. And um, like I've been this person, I know how it feels. I know how like how powerless it feels that we can do nothing about attracting our specific person. But this is truly the case because here is the thing. And now here is what basically again Neville Goddard states: uh, feeling is the secret, right? So whenever you feel fulfilled, like if you if you already had the relationship you wanted to with your specific person, how would you feel? Then you would be enjoying life, right? You would be feeling fulfilled. You would be feeling grateful that you have so many beautiful moments with them. So now if you were to take your attention, take your awareness from chasing your specific person to like observing all the beautiful things in your life, observing all the areas in your life that are working out, seeing how maybe you're doing great in your job seeing how much you're progressing personally seeing uh, how beautiful relationship you have relationships you have with your friends um like seeing all the positive aspects of your life the way it is right now then the same feelings like the same feelings of gratitude and fulfillment are contained within your life if you look closely enough and this is these are the same feelings that you would experience if you got things moving with your specific person so then it's all about like through this understanding it's all about refocusing of our awareness so anytime you feel like anytime you start feeling uh, anxious insecure anytime anytime you think that there is something you need to do and you stop start chasing your specific person then it's all about withdrawing your awareness from the outside again on the inside and seeing on the inside like what what is everything in my life that's already going go, going um and working great so how can i focus my awareness on on things in my life that are working great because here is what neville states and this is like understanding this quote will like allow you to shift your awareness inwardly and then see everything that's working out great and maintain your focus there which will in a way put you in such a state in such so, in, in such heightened state of awareness then that then when you maintain that state it's like obviously people are attracted to feeling to people who feel great right so then your specific person can actually see you they can feel your presence so here is what neville states 
Your desires contain within them the plum of their self-expression. So leave all judgment out of the picture and rise in consciousness to the level of your desire and make yourself one with it by claiming it to be so now. So this is exactly what he means. It's like your desire contains with it the plum to its self-expression. You, ne you needn't worry about that. You don't have to worry about it. So you don't have to force it. It's like accepting that when this desire of spending more time with your specific person doing whatever um like experiencing whatever you want to experience together when it comes it is coming as an invitation for you to fulfill it in your imagination so it's not it's not coming it's not coming for the reason that you go and chase it on the outside no it's coming for the reason that you accept it within surrender to it and let it let it like let it flourish in your awareness so that you can so that you're able to experience it inwardly and so this is basically exactly what i what i've done in my life um, when it comes to attracting a specific person with whom i want to have a long-term relationship with because before i was always trying to chase i was always trying to manipulate in fact i was like i was trying to um to prove to myself that I'm worthy of my specific person and I was trying to manipulate them in a way but and it never worked out because I was always appearing to be really fake and like to be not genuine with who uh, with the fulfillment that I was able to experience when I was focusing on my own life but so eventually through my journey and through learning about the wolf assumption and like any, any, everything that Neville teaches I realized that any time that I focus on my own life and everything that is working in in my life already like the exact opposite starts happening and so my specific person and the people i like they start becoming attracted to me i become like a magnet to them and this is again the reason this the reason this happens is because when you're radiating that heightened energy of gratitude of a few months, then other people can feel that they can bounce that feeling uh, they, they can see that feeling in you and since they want to experience it themselves they become attracted to you. So it's like, this is how the wall of assumption works. It's all about an inner game. It's all about the feeling is the secret. You need to ensure that within yourself, you feel good before you can have your specific person. Because you cannot, like, you cannot enter in a relationship with them just to get. Because otherwise, it's like, why would they, why would they want to be in your life if you're just about, if, you, if you're selfish and, just, and you just want to get something from that relationship? So, but when you feel fulfilled and happy within yourself, then they know that you are here to bring value to them, to their life. And this fulfillment, they will, they will feel it from you. They will feel it radiating from you and they will naturally be attracted. So here is something interesting also that you can like, um, you can remember anytime you feel um, that you want to chase your specific person. And I want you like to just think about how powerful this is. It's like when, when your desire is already fulfilled, when you feel into the state of your desire already being fulfilled, then you would naturally say something like, oh, isn't it wonderful? Oh, thank you so much, life, for bringing my desire to fruition. It's so beautiful. So then what, like, why is this interesting? It's interesting because if you're able to focus your awareness on phrases like that, isn't it wonderful? Isn't it beautiful how everything is working for me? Isn't it great how my specific person wants to spend time with me? Like for the moments they they go, they they outreach you and like they message you and they want to genuinely spend time with you. So if you're able to take that same state that you have experienced already, but make it present, even if it's not present, make it present in your awareness and then maintain it consistently. Like what do you think would happen if you do that? Try it out and see for yourself. Because if you consistently do that and at the same time drop any contradictory states to the, to your, to the feeling of your wish fulfilled, then it's like, again, you become magnetizing for people. It's just, it's just for the sole reason that people want to be around other people who feel good. And this is, again, the reason you are watching this channel. Why do you watch this channel? It's because when I make videos like that, I'm radiating a heightened state. And then you feel good about it. Now think about it this way. When you radiate that state from yourself, what do you think will happen again? Like how would other people perceive you? 
well, they want to spend time with you, right? So this is the secret. The feeling is the secret, my, my friend. So isn't it wonderful that you have the power within you to generate a feeling and then let that feeling do the rest? Because again, your desires contain within them, within them the power to their self-expression. So your whole responsibility is to maintain that state. And this, my friend, is basically everything that you want to do. So feel the gratitude of already meeting, um, see the grat feel the gratitude that you would feel if what you wanted would have, would be already true. And because it's like, it's the same. If you, if you also find all the reasons you can be grateful about in everything that you're experiencing in your life already, the same gratitude, it's the same gratitude that you would feel when things with your specific person start moving forward. So again, try to focus your awareness on everything that is already working out. And then by experiencing this gratitude in your awareness, if you say something like, isn't it wonderful? This is so beautiful. And then think about your specific person from that heightened state of awareness. And if you maintain that, if you do that consistently for like a couple of weeks, see what happens. If you really commit to that, see what happens. I tell you, it's like the, the tides will shift and then they will start chasing you because they want to be in that heightened state of awareness. So, but then there is something else because if you, if you feel really attached, if you, if you experience something beautiful with your specific person, if you had like the, the greatest relationship before and now maybe you've broken up or like maybe something, something happened that pulled you away from one another, then, and if you are feeling that you're constantly attached to them, you should definitely check out this video about no contact, like the four rules that you need to apply for going no contact. Because again, this is what you want to do. If you are willing, if you're feeling really attached and then it's like really hard to maintain the, the heightened state of awareness, because when the attachment to your specific person is really intense, then going no contact can actually be a better solution. But check out this video to see exactly how it works and how you can apply that. This was everything I wanted to share in this quick video. So my friend, again, the main thing that you need to remember is that instead of chasing them, focus on the gratitude that you already have in your life. Because I can tell you, there are people who would, be, who would want to be in your place no matter where you are. So if you find that gratitude around you and then channel that gratitude in thoughts related, in thoughts connected to your specific person, they will come back in a matter of weeks. That being the case, thank you so much for watching. Hope you found this video to be useful. If this is true, like it, comment down below. Let me know what is your experience. If you're new to the channel, to the Soulful Relationships channel, subscribe to it. And I would love to see you around because my intention with this channel is to help you experience the best, most uplifting, fulfilling, supportive, meaningful, and intimate relationships with everybody in your life, not just romantically. So if this is an intention that you share, subscribe to the channel and I would love to see you around. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.